shards of a Cloud Knight's weapon. Something really sharp caused this. It must have been Kafka! She's got a scary sword! Look! Ding found a strange chest! And there's a handprint on it! Let me see. Slender fingers, but strong. This hand belongs to a killer. Uh, there's a note here, too. Take your fancy, there's a reward inside. Oh, why do I get the feeling we're not the ones doing the hunting? It seems like Kafka predicted our every move. Stay alert, all of you. We could be walking into a trap. I know, I know. Let's go and have a look. Uh, is that a grenade? What's that on the side? Uh, it's lipstick. A small something for the lost. Uh, she's clearly taunting us. <laughs> D-Tang smells something. What's this? A jade seal used by the shipwrights. It opens various passages. It looks like someone used it and then destroyed it. Possibly Kafka? <sighs> we should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. We should have enough clues here to get Deeding on the move. No time to lose. Let's give him the scent and let him lead the way. I think we've rounded up all our suspicious clues. But did Kafka leave them behind on accident? Or on purpose? Uh, she sure did put a lot of work into this gag, and I think we're the punchline. Uh, making us run around like jerks? I bet she's loving this. I can almost hear her whispering. Come and get me. Oh, why don't you go and marry her, huh? Don't forget, she's on the IPC's most wanted list. A fugitive that nobody can seem to pin down. And now we've become her prey while she stalks us in the shadows. Let's go, benefactors. Time is of the essence. We must be close. The scent! Where did it go? Oh, when the trace of the hunted disappears, the hunter better think twice. It might mean the tables have turned. Kafka! These Cloud Knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? <laughs> oh, what a hassle. This place is too far for the Diviner. See you up ahead. March, not so fast! <laughs> so close and yet so far. You'll have to pick up the pace. Ah, uh, there's no way through here! We need to think of a way to cut her off! Don't worry about locked doors, benefactors. We can use the conveyor belts. Looks good.
Welcome, Astral Expressors. Looks like you caught me. <laughs> Admit it, Kafka. You planned for us to come here. I didn't plan anything. It was the future. We interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. You speak too highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. <laughs> best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> best for me, naturally. We're taking you to see the General of the Law Fu. You can profess your innocence all you like, but the General will decide your fate. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's pace. We don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Ha! Rudimentary. Your every move has been foreseen by the Omniscia. Fushren, Divination Commission. I'll be taking the criminal from here. Greetings, crew of the Astral Express. This is our first encounter. Though given that I have encountered you in Foresight, perhaps I should say the second. I am Fu Xuan, Master Diviner at the Divination Commission and one of the Six Charioteers. Far-flung friends ought to be received with fine wine. But alas, the heavens, earth, and body are not aligned for such an occasion. You'll allow for a postponement of the usual formalities, I trust? We should begin with the matter at hand. What the actual heck is she saying? <clears throat> if the method of my speech is offensive to you, you need but say. We received an assignment from General Jing Yuan to arrest the Stellaron Hunter. Thank you, Diviner, for coming to our aid, but we must escort the fugitive to the General. An essential. I hold a proclamation from the General here, if you care to see. Upon detaining the Stellaron Hunter, questioning and all further arrangements are to be undertaken by the Divination Commission. <laughs> Did the General just spare us a walk with Kafka? I knew he was a good guy. Understood. However, the General promised that all intel would be shared with us. We have a right to know anything that Kafka divulges. Oh? That guy. Can I go one day without him throwing me under the... We won't make things any more complicated than they need to be. We just want to listen in on the questioning. Very well. Urgency demands fluidity. The three of you shall accompany me to the Divination Commission. Uh, can't we do the questioning here? The Stellaron Hunters are slippery. What if she makes a break for it? While I am here, she will not escape. Only the Divination Commission has the methods to make her talk and bring the truth to light. The time has arrived. We must depart. Please proceed. Let's disembark here, benefactors. I may live in relative seclusion, but I can recognize my own territory. Why did you bring us here? Does this look like the Divination Commission to you? No need to yell, Master Diviner. The Meridian Pin is malfunctioning, and I couldn't find the entrance to the Delve. I wanted to get us straight to our destination, but... This is the only place I could dock the Starskiff. 
Look, Exalting Sanctum. This is a safe place. Let's just walk the rest of the way from here. <laughs> Our hexagrammatic position is fluctuating between the Martian water trigrams. The vessel is stranded and the way is blocked. I heard the Sienjo can tell your fortune. Is that how they do it? Anyone can count on their fingers. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm a layman. Why don't you enlighten me, O connoisseur? I just performed some quick divination, and the hexagram is consistent with our current predicament. The Starskiff cannot take us to the Divination Commission today. Alas, without me in charge to handle the Stellaron Crisis, I dare not even imagine the kind of mess the Commission must be in. It's true. The Divination Commission really can't go a single day without Lady Fu. Uh, that's why you have to develop your talent pool. Otherwise, everything falls apart when you go on vacation. <laughs> Since you are clearly ignorant of the Commission's internal affairs, I shall absolve you of your ridiculous remarks. I'm going ahead to make some inquiries. Goodbye. The prisoner must follow me every step of the way. This is Jing Yuan's order. Um, you might not want to hear this, but your general gave us his word. We have to be present when you question Kafka. Uh, you think too little of me. My word is my bond. I will stick to my promise even if this delve collapses. That's very unlikely, by the way. To have this prisoner speak, the Commission must resort to unconventional means the nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Forgive me. But I can assure you that the questioning will not begin until you arrive, even if that means wasting precious time. I have appointed someone to wait for you in front of Exalting Sanctum Plaza. Once we've consolidated our internal affairs, you will be brought into the Divination Commission. Please be patient. Uh, okay... We trust you. <laughs> oh, I think I offended someone again. <sighs> you do it next time. I'm tired of being the villain. Don't take it to heart, March. Miss Fushen seems like a reasonable lady. I'm sure she's not angry with you. Really? I thought she was pretty icy. Uh, I don't know how to deal with people like that. Okay, enough chit-chat. I reckon the Divination Commission could be a while. Let's take a look around. Yeah! Oh, that star skiff was pretty cool. There must be loads of interesting things in Exalting Sanctum. Hey, fancy seeing you here. <sighs> you never asked what the Skyfaring Commission does. I suppose not all commissions are created equal. Anyway, if you must know, the Divination Commission is responsible for gathering intelligence, devising strategies, and performing divination. Maybe there's more to it? It's not like I would know. I'm a mere amicassiter. Don't worry. Diviner Fu seems confident about getting Kafka to talk. If I were you, I'd just sit back and watch her do her thing. Who knows? She tends to make decisions based on the results of her divinations, as opposed to what others might be thinking. If she doesn't want to reveal the Commission's secrets, then you have no choice but to wait. The General entrusted the Master Diviner with the interrogation of the Fugitive because 
He has faith in her ability to manage the situation. As one of the six charioteers, she is certainly capable. Why do you think Kafka surrendered at the mere sight of her back in Stargazer Navalia? Oh, did you want a tour of Exalting Sanctum? <laughs> oh, the last time I came here on a star skiff was, well, let me think, about 20 years ago now. I've been on the road for so long that I've started to forget the sights and sounds of the Sienjo. All I remember is that this is a good place to while away the days. Still, many Delves have changed beyond recognition since the arrival of the Stellaron. If you're bored, you could go and find the messenger from the Divination Commission. When we confronted Kafka, she seemed certain that Fu Shen would show up. The leader of the Stellaron Hunters is called Elio. No one knows who he is or what he looks like, only that the Interastral Peace Corporation calls him Destiny's Slave. It's said that he has the power to foresee possibilities. According to Herta, the Corporation believes Elio can see the temporal branching of infinite possibilities, which is very much like being able to predict the future. In fact, it may even be superior. If the rumors are true, every seemingly meaningless action taken by the Stellaron Hunters may actually be a choice based on those possibilities. Which would include what they did to you. For the sake of this discussion, yes, I think so. But who is it? All of us are future variables, our choices solidifying reality. The future is nothing incredible either, just a fog waiting for us to make a decision. Back to the matter at hand. Kafka. Yes, it's strange for a fugitive to give themselves up, but a fugitive who can see the future? For her, perhaps that was the way it was always going to be. But is she really as calm as she seems? The future holds almost infinite possibilities, after all. I suspect she has proof that she has nothing to do with the Stellaron Crisis. Or perhaps something is supposed to transpire during the Divination Commission's interrogation. Something that would allow her a window of escape. <sighs> Why did the Stellaron Hunters go to such lengths to bring us here? What is the future? that Destiny's slave sees behind this course of action. <clears throat> the nature of which is confidential and cannot be disclosed. Oh, is that a Sienjo motto or something? First the Skyfaring Commission, now the Divination Commission. They're all so secretive. Oh, the General's the only friendly face here. I hate to admit it, but... I'm even starting to miss Sampo. Hold up. I must be losing my mind. <laughs> nope. I'll take this Yenjo over that blue-haired boar any day. <laughs> oh, we've gone from being chased through every street in Bellabog to waiting on every corner in this Yenjo. <sighs> Chasing and waiting. Maybe that's what life's all about. Hmm. I'm not just a pretty face, you know. I've got poetry on standby 24-7. Are you wondering if the Sienjo is my... homeworld? No, I'm not getting any flashbacks. <laughs> Please, do I look Sienjo-ish to you? You must be thinking of Don Hung. <sighs> Good idea, let's go. Oh, wait a minute, clear my head of what? That's the plaza. But uh, I can't see anyone waiting for us. Should we look around?
What's oh, going on with what him? Is that? Ah! 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 Everybody, stay back! Ah! Give him this medicine uh, and make him lie down! Uh, 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 I mean, make them lie down! Huh? That'll teach you a lesson. Ready to lie down now? <sighs> Thanks for helping to stabilize the patients. Your assertive sedation techniques are quite effective. Assertive sedation techniques? Uh, does she mean beating people up? However, these Cloud Knights were already sick. And now they're injured too. I've got to bandage up their wounds, realign their bones... Ugh! As if I didn't have enough on my plate! Where did you come from, little one? Is your dad around? I don't have a dad. Uh, what about your mom? I don't have a mom either. Ugh... <sighs> I get it. You think because I'm small, I must be a runaway child. <laughs> Welcome to the Xian Show, my short-lived outsider friends. Appearances can be deceiving here. The Vidyadara race is self-reincarnating. No mom or dad required. I've been studying the art of healing ever since I cast off my old show. You're looking at a recognized, practicing, dedicated doctor. Bellabog kids are making snowmen, while children here are writing prescriptions. Things haven't been very peaceful in the lawful recently. Make sure you don't... <laughs> ...go running around, right? Well, your general gave us an errand, so I'm afraid we have to. Hmm... Well, seeing as you saved me just now, if you're unlucky enough to acquire any breaks or sprains, I'll treat you for free. As for medicine, I'll give you a 20% discount. Ha! Huh. Do you have any idea how many people in the law floor are waiting for an appointment with me? You should count this as a blessing. If I hadn't left my purse at home, I wouldn't have to... Enough of that. I have patience to see. Our little miracle worker seems very different from everyone else around. Don't you think, Mr. Yang? So this is the Vidyadara. I've only ever read about them. They're known as the Dragon Race. Not hard to see why. Everyone please remain calm. This is an announcement from the Realm Keeping Commission General Bureau. Exalting Sanctum is temporarily closing its borders and navigation routes. The details will be outlined in the official bulletin sent to your Jade Abacus soon. If you feel unwell, please report to the Realm Keeping Commission as soon as possible. We have doctors from the Alchemy Commission here who will see you free of charge. Oh, uh, we will be distributing a bag of protein rice and emergency medicine to each of you. You can collect the supplies from me in person, or the Commission can deliver them to your door. I heard there's a problem with their Meridian pin. Some Diviners and Stargazers managed to escape the Delve. Many of them were terrified. They were muttering about plants and roots. Something terrible must have happened there. Do you have friends trapped in the Delve? If you're worried about them, find a diviner and see if they can tell you what happened. Please register with your Jade Abacus bracelet. Oh, you must be an outsider. I see. Please, sign here. I want to say it's all in a day's work, but I've been here for 12 hours already. When will this end? When it rains, it pours. The Artisanship Commission has its own issues. It sounds serious, too. Go and inform the Cloud Knights. See if you can... 
Oh, my apologies. I'm an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. Judging by your dress, you must be visitors to the Law Fu. <laughs> and I'm a civil servant. The General hired me. Technically speaking, every traveler aboard the Law Fu is a guest of the General. If the port is still open, I would suggest you take a boat to Starskiff Haven right away. Though, I heard the route may have been... Uh, temporarily suspended. Oh, that reminds me. I have a friend with a Starskiff and a travel permit. He could help you and your friends get over quickly. The price is... fair and negotiable. What do you think? Well now, you must be quite special. Hey, don't spread this around, but this isn't some small-scale maintenance drill. The General has sent the Cloud Knights to check for hidden dangers. You may not need it right now, but if there's any help I can give you, come to me anytime. Excuse me, fella. Hold on a moment. It was only thanks to your help earlier that the Dragon Lady and those exalting Sanctum residents got away unscathed. The Dragon Lady of the Alchemy Commission, Lady Bailu. You mean the child? She's starting to sound like a big shot. A friend in the Skyfaring Commission told me the General commissioned guests to deal with the troubles on the Lafu. You must be the guests. If you don't mind, I hope you can take the time to come to the Realmkeeping Commission. I'd like to talk to you about the issues Exalting Sanctum is currently facing. 